WVTM 13 Live Doppler. The winds are still whipping and we still do have action on the WVTM 13 Live Doppler, but it's mainly more rain. The risk for severe weather, meaning the potential for rotation, tornadic activity, hail, that has ended. Not even seeing any lightning strikes, just a narrow band of very heavy rainfall right now in between Dora and Oak Grove. So if you live in the neighborhood closer to areas of Robbins Crossroad, that's where the heavy rain band is right now. Some of the rainfall rates, check this out, just within this narrow band, about two inches per hour. There's another area right now that's closer to Chilton County and south towards Montgomery. I think this will likely end up in two areas of Montgomery and right around the Auburn campus. Notice the general direction is tracking more east northeast, so likely to continue towards areas of Lake Martin. So our WBTM 13 live Doppler radar, it's the only one of its kind, everything built in so we can show you the weather as it's happening. Wind gusts out of the south have been steady. 30 mile per hour winds roughly and saturated soil. So even though we don't have thunderstorms that are expected to be tornadic, we still do have conditions that may bring down some trees. So uh, really just stay alert and stay aware when you're getting on the roads tomorrow morning. I've checked and double checked. Yes, it is 70 degrees right now in Birmingham. The cold air is out there in the Tennessee Valley and northern Mississippi, but check this out. It's 70 in Birmingham. 50 in Nashville. So those temperatures will remain the larger story here as we look ahead. Most of us though are going to continue to see the ongoing flood threat because rain continues to come out of Mississippi. This future cast shows you two things, the rain forecast for the rest of the night and the temperatures. Notice we continue to see rain. It's 1019 in the evening. It'll still be rainy through four o'clock in the morning. Our temperatures by four in the morning will be in the fifties and then we get in towards the afternoon. The closer we get towards midday, those temperatures continue to drop. So we're talking mid 40s. By the time you get off work, you may need the coat. Temperatures in the morning will most likely be the warmest in the morning, and then we surge down towards 29 degrees for Friday morning. Saturday morning is 28 degrees, and then more cloudiness as we head towards Sunday morning. So a couple of dry days. Finally, in your seven day forecast, right? Don't be surprised though as some of the lingering showers through central Alabama hang tough around Calhoun County, uh, Talladega County, St. Clair County, and then it just gets colder. So those temperatures again, we just showed you in that future cast. It's going to take several hours to clear out, but once it does, those temperatures cool down below freezing in the morning, and then we look at rain chances towards early next week. But let's just get you into the weekend freezing temperatures we can take and the water, the flood water should recede by then. Back to you.